Hey everyone, this is Angel for the B-Side with the first episode of our new series, The Video Game Tourist. And what a better place to start our journey than the beautiful island of Iki, home to the first paid DLC for the PlayStation exclusive Ghost of Tsushima. In this video, we will focus on the main landmarks of the island of Iki that made their way to the DLC, comparing them and analyzing the creative freedom that developer Sucker Punch Productions took when recreating Iki in game. All the information and most of the photos and videos that you're going to see comes from the official Nagasaki Tourism website and another couple of sources that I'll link in the description down below. So grab your katana, put on some sunscreen, and let's take a quick virtual tour to the beautiful shores of Iki. As many of you may know, the Iki Island DLC takes inspiration from the real island of Iki from the Nagasaki prefecture, southwest of Japan. If we take a closer look to the island in coast of Tsushima, we can see that its shape is basically the same as the one in the real world. But there are some subtle differences. For example, some of the rivers do exist but don't connect to each other as they do in the game, or the northwest section of the island that has a slightly different structure. Obviously, that's me being nitpicky, but I think that Sucker Punch Productions, developer of the game, have done a really great job on this. But the shape of Iki Island is just a beginning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's focus now on what's really important, the landmarks of Iki. Sadly for us, almost everything that you can see here marked on the map is not real, because, let's be honest, doing a one-to-one -one replica of the island would be a major challenge and perhaps a little bit boring, without any creative freedom for the developers, that's why most of the stuff that you will see in this video, despite really existing, usually has a different name or location within the island, as opposed to the real life. Let's start with one of the most emblematic landmarks in Iki Island, the Saruiwa, which literally means monkey rock or monkey cliff. This giant rock takes its name from a very particular perspective from where you can distinguish the profile of a monkey, hence the Saruiwa name, which is more notorious during sunsets. In the game, the Saruiwa is located southwest of the island where you would find Nagashima Island in real life, while the actual location of the Saruiwa is on the northwestern part of the island. This funky monkey rock is said to be a pillar built by the gods so that the island of Iki wasn't washed away. You can enjoy the view to Saruiwa from the sea or a nearby observation deck where you can also grab a bite or buy some cool souvenirs in the official Saruiwa product shop. A thing that kept me scratching my head while I was doing this video is that the same observation deck can be found in some sort of way here in the southern part of the island, on this bridge or even this nearby shrine, but the view, well, is not that great. In fact, the best place to have a breathtaking view of this monkey rock is not on this bridge, but from the Gonora Cape Hot Spring, north of Saruiwa, where you can actually see the profile and overall monkey shape while you take a warm bath with your monkey paws in the game. In Ghost of Tsushima, we can find Nakajima Shrine on Nakajima Island, located southeast of Iki, but there are a couple of details here. The real name of the shrine is Kojima Shrine, instead of Nakajima Shrine, and it is located to the north of this little bay instead of Tsumaga Island, the real name of Nakajima Island. Kojima Shrine can be translated as Small Island, which is a perfect description for this tiny little island that has a very interesting detail, as a path that leads from Iki to Kojima is only visible when the tide is really low, being hidden once the tide rises, blocking all access to and from the island, but in return, it gives us a very cool photo opportunity. The shrine inside the small but dense forest is slightly bigger than the one that we can find in the game, and thankfully, has a very straightforward path to climb it with a nice set of stairs with a handrail. That's right folks, no kaginawas or impossible jumps for you to climb here. Next on our list is Senjo Gorge, specifically the path that leads to Kasumasa's end's fast travel point, located south of Iki in the game. The reallocation of this interesting geological landmark is actually on the west side of the island, but what really caught my attention is the name of a very near landmark in the map, called Buddha's Footprints. The interesting thing here is that the real name of this arc formation that we see at the end of Senjo Gorge is a very curious one, Oni no Ashiato which translates as the devil's or ogre's footprints. 
I find the antagonistic duality of the names very interesting because on one side we have Buddha, the spiritual leader and founder of Buddhism, and on the other hand, the Oni, one of the most well-known kinds of yokai in Japanese folklore. The tales suggest that this landmark is supposed to be made from a footprint by a demon planting his feet in order to save a whale, and it is believed that the other footprint for this demon is located on Tatsunoshima, an island and a very popular tourist spot on the northern section of Iki, which is sadly not included in the game and has been replaced along with Wakamiya and Nagarasu Islands with the Raiders Premonitory area. But let's go back to Senju Gorge. There are some notable differences between the real life and Ghost of Tsushima's one. When we visit in the game, we follow one of two streams that finally flow into the sea after a very small patch of land. But in the real world, this path comes from a small hill and ends completely sunken into the sea. The large hole has a circumference of 110 meters and is now a famous fishing spot, but most of all, a perfect place to get some incredible photographs. There's another aspect of Senju Gorge that I would like to briefly talk about, and that is the awesome view you get with all the wisteria trees, or Fuji in Japanese, spreading the colorful purple petals around the gorge. Sadly, there is nowhere in Iki Island where you can get an experience like this, but probably Soccer Punch Productions took inspiration from different places in Japan where wisterias are the central attraction, like the Kawachi Wisteria Garden in Kitakyushu district in the city of Fukuoka where you can prance around the more than 150 wisteria trees in April when they are in full bloom. Moving on, we have Kitafuri Battleground, located in the central area of the island in coast of Tsushima. While in real life, it is actually named, uh, hold on, Harunotsuji Ikikoku Oto Fukuken Park, a vast green area home to the Harunotsuji archaeological site and it's located on the eastern side of the island. This is a collection of historic ruins from a kingdom described in an old Chinese history book. Earthenware from various locations, Chinese coins, and remains of older ports in Japan have been found in the surroundings, indicating that this region had a lot of trading activity. There are 17 replica buildings that can be seen up close while more than 2,000 historical items are stored in the local museum of the island, the Ikikoku Museum. Some of the house models in Ghost of Tsushima are basically shaped like the ones in real life, the only difference being that they are covered in vegetation. But there are other examples that may not correspond to what we can see in Harunotsuji, including some of the walls surrounding the site which are not present in real life. Let's continue with Fort Sakai and Mount Takenotsuji. The mighty castle of Lord Sakai was constructed on top of Mount Takenotsuji, giving it a great overview of the city. The thing is that these two are located in different spots in real life. Fort Sakai does not exist with that name, but might be a reference to the old Katsumoto castle located in the north part of the island. Constructed in 1591 by Toyomi Hideyoshi, a military commander who unified Japan, this castle worked as a supply base for when he dispatched his troops to Korea. Obviously, this doesn't match the time period for Ghost of Tsushima, which is historically set a couple of hundred years earlier during the Kamakura period from 1185 to 1333, or even the ruins themselves with just the stone wall of the front castle gate remaining, as well as some toady gates, a gravesite, and the main building on the top. On the other hand, Mount Takenotsuji does exist, but it is located instead on the southern part of the island. This is the highest peak on Iki, with an elevation of 212.8 meters. It is a scenic spot that reveals the whole island on clear days, but serving in the past as a strategic defensive outpost, accommodating fire beacon platforms and guard stations to keep a lookout for foreign ships. Now, with some of the most important landmarks that we can find in the game out of the way, let's quickly talk about some of the most famous tourist spots on Iki that you can visit but couldn't find their way into the game for one reason or the other. The Harahoge Jiso statues are a group of guardian deities made of stone and placed in the sea at Yahataura, the hometown of Iki's Ama, the traditional female fishers who specialize in diving. They get partially submerged at high tide and are said to save the faithful from suffering and worry, believed to have been dedicated for the repose of the souls of the whales that the fishermen hunted, as well as of local Ama who drowned. Sumiyoshi Shrine is one of Japan's four great Sumiyoshi shrines, along with those in Osaka. Shimonoseki 
and Foucault. Every December, Shinto priests from all over Iki gather here for the island's traditional ritual for the gods of the shrine, Dai Dai Kagura, which lasts from 7 to 8 hours to complete. The Kakei Kofun is an ancient tomb known as a tumulus that was built between the last half of the 6th century to the first half of the 7th century. The burial site measures 22.5 meters from north to south, but the original mound is said to have a total diameter of approximately 30 meters. Its interior comprises freestone vaults and is the only coffin of its kind in the Nagasaki prefecture out of 280 remaining today in Japan. The Sakyoban is an extremely steep rising cliff that runs for about one kilometer providing one of the best views on the island. There are rocks like a series of thin pillars protruding out from the ocean, said to be one of the eight pillars built to prevent the island from being washed away when Iki was created by the gods. And finally, as a final bonus, we have Genko Monument, a statue erected in honor of Shoni Suketoki in Shoni Park, a young Iki commander who died fighting the fleet of the Mongolian army that landed on the island as part of its invasion of Japan in 1281, depicting Suketoki's bravery as well as all of the other fallen soldiers of Iki in the midst of battle. Does it remind you of anyone in particular? I bet it does. And with that, we conclude our time with the Iki Island and Ghost of Tsushima. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, and while you're here, why not check some of the other videos in the channel like my deep dive series on Returnal, where I explain the Greek mythology in the game and its lore. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later on the B-side.